Okay, so now if a phi of x is a nice function, so what do I mean by nice? Uh, I.e., it satisfies a certain uh, Dirichlet conditions. What is a Dirichlet condition? One is that uh, phi of x is absolutely integrable over some integral in interval <clears throat> that means its absolute value is a finite if you integrate its absolute value you get a finite number number 2 is that phi of x is not discontinuous in that interval. Uh, at an infinite number of points, number three is that uh, the the bound phi of x is a function with bounded variation. Okay. So, so what does bounded variation mean? You know, roughly, you know, this is, of course, not a mathematics class, so I'll be very heuristic. Roughly, this means that uh, phi of x now doesn't oscillate too much too often. Okay, so uh, there is an example of a function, say, I think it's sine of 1 over x times x. And this function, if you plot it in in an interval around zero, what it does is that it it does something like this. And if you integrate this function, the modulus of this function, the the problem is that you know uh, the number of oscillations become infinite as you reach zero, as you approach zero, right? Because as you approach zero. You know this. You know this becomes more and more. You know you'll get an infinite number of oscillations, and this thing you know somewhat ameliorates that oscillation, but it's not strong enough. And therefore, if you integrate, uh, you know the, uh, I think the modulus of this function, you will get it won't be bounded. However, if you consider the function x squared of sine of one over x, <clears throat> then this guy is able to repress this oscillations much better. And this turns out to be a function which is, uh, who's uh, with bounded variation, okay? So this is an example of what it means uh, to have bounded variation. Okay, so, so these are the technical Dirichlet conditions. And um, <clears throat> sorry, uh, yeah. So these are the Dirichlet conditions, and if these conditions are met, then what uh, Fourier said was that you know then phi of x can be represented by the following series. It 
So it's a periodic function, with, which is kind of nice. It will have a part which is constant. And then there will be an infinite number of terms in principle. And these infinite number of terms will be cosine and sine functions. 2n pi x over L plus Bn times sine 2n pi x over L. Okay, so this is the Fourier series. Okay, so this is the Fourier series and a n and b n are the Fourier coefficients.